Hi, my name is Danielle Downs, and this is Tutorial Tuesday. Hey everybody, welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're doing a French braid that transitions into a three strand braid. It's great for festival looks and it's really easy to do. I started off with some shine drops from Bricado. Gives the hair a great shine and also really good slip. So just in case the hair is a little too clean, it roughs it up just a little bit so you can get a good grip. So I start off with a triangle section separate into three strands. And what I do is I cross my right section over my left and make that the middle section. And then do the same on the left hand side. When you're picking up hair, you want to make sure that it's about an equal size to the section that you're adding it to and then cross it over. Now with a French braid versus a Dutch braid, you want to make sure that you're going over and not under. So that way the braid itself is invisible. So right now you can see me adding that hair in. So what I usually do is I just hold the section in my thumb and middle finger. That way I have the stability to pick up the section that I'm going to add to the hair. <clears throat> so now that I'm coming to the end of the braid, I'm still doing the same repetition, crossing over, adding a little bit of hair. Now you're going to tie that off with a little rubber band here. So I'm taking a section of hair from underneath, from wrapping that around just to hide the rubber band. I'm using the Bricado Movable Hold Finishing Hairspray. It's great because it's flexible, so it also adds a little bit of shine as well as laying down any little flyaway sections. Then I take a bobby pin and just slide that underneath just to secure that hair to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Now I'm just expanding the braid a little bit so that way it's not too tight. You don't have to do that, but personally, I just like the way that it looks. It's kind of soft a little fun and especially seeing as how I left the little tendrils it's just something that's a little bit more casual to me so always make sure that you're grabbing the hair from the bottom as you're expanding so now I started with a three stranded braid again doing the same thing that you did on the top just without adding the hair you're just crossing right over the middle left over the middle and continuing that all the way to the bottom where you're gonna just rubber band that and again just grab the sides lightly pull while you're pulling a section from at the bottom of the hair so that you can expand it without losing the shape of your braid. Okay, so again on the other side, I chose to do a very off-center middle part because our model had a little bit of a scar on the back of her head. So you can actually part this any way you want, whether it's a zigzag, straight down the middle, off-center, that way you can make your braids either more dense on one side or a little dense on the other side, just like I did. So here you can see me doing the same pickup routine where I'm taking a little bit of hair, adding that in and crossing over my sections. Now we're expanding again, a little easier when there's less hair to work with, doing our little wrap around technique using the movable hold hairspray and our little invisible bobby pin. And here, Sometimes I actually go in and do a under braid just so that if there's a growth pattern on one side of the head, sometimes if you're working over on a three stranded braid, that can actually make it sit a little bit weird. Now I just wanted to refine those little tendrils a little bit. So I'm using the Vibra Straight Iron and just giving it very light tension and a, a little twist just to give the hair some, some bend to it, but not an actual curl. And to add just a little bit of shimmer to the hair, which literally that's what the product's called, shimmer, it's silver spray from Bricado that I absolutely love. Really gives that festival feel to the hair and it comes in silver and gold. So yay, you can make them into a disco ball. So thanks for tuning in to Tutorial Tuesdays. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below.